Gilmore. Gross, hounded by Lamina, but still finding the pass to March, and he clips it over the top, and that is a delightful ball to Welbeck, and he forces a save from Saar, falls for Matoma, cuts it back, Estupinian, clinical! What a start to the second half! Same combination as the first. This time, Mitoma to Estupinian. And the fullback who loves to get forward galloped into space and absolutely lashed it in. That Solly March pass opened up the Wolves' defence. Saar on the stretch made a good save. Mitoma had the composure. And Esther Pinian did the rest. This was a good stop. Matoma had the vision, knew where Esther Pinian was. He always seems to. And it's a smart finish from the Ecuadorian. Low and hard. And Albion 2-0 to the good right at the start of the second half. De Zerbi loves it. Exactly what he would have wanted. Get the first goal in this second half. And Albion have done just that. Well, Wolves with a mountain to climb now. Already going to be a difficult task against a very well organised and composed Albion side, the best in their history. But that has been the case for Wolves all afternoon. Overhit passes, really lacking the finishing pass, the finishing touch. And Gary O'Neill has his work cut out in his first home game in charge of the old gold. Nunes Silva Smedo out to Neto Lamina Thomas there doing his defensive duties and Ciso the tackle as Gross looked to fly down the left hand side Ciso wants a handball, not going to get it as Nunes picks his way through a forest of blue and white shirts. And then the long ball looking for Neto, Jason Steele rather shanks it into touch, didn't catch it like he wanted to, but it's safe, that's the main thing. Kilman. Nunez at the heart of everything that Wolves are trying to do. Trying to set Cunha away there. Easy enough for Steele. The worrying thing for Wolves is they've struggled to score goals. 2-0 down, first home game of the season. And then look at that Albion bench. They've got three players on it who started last week and performed well a goal scorer amongst them in Pedro Simon Adingra who's got pace to burn and is eager to impress scored on his debut last week and then the small matter of Evan Ferguson Neto won it back well 
up against Gilmore. Neto drives to the byline and Dunk is perfectly positioned and Estepinian. Oh, a very rare heavy touch from Estepinian. Usually so technically adept. It's gifted Wolves a throw here as they look to hit back. Gilmore. Through he goes. And Ciso's onside, and then Ciso has acres of space, only March to aim for in the middle. Oh, but he finds him superbly! Just class! From back to front, Albion showing why it's called the beautiful game. Another goal of sublime quality, absolutely brilliant football. Two in two for Solly March. The pass from Gilmore. So good. Even better this from Enciso. Oh, what a ball. Begging to be put in the net. And Solly March said, thank you very much. Scores his second of the season. Didn't even need to break stride. Albion motoring away now. 3-0 to the good. Solly March amongst the goals again. Molyneux and Wolves utterly, utterly shell-shocked by what has happened in the opening seven and a half minutes of this half. First Estupinian, then March, and they've taken the game away from Wolves. Such quality as well. at it again here Milner has to scurry for this one makes it look relatively comfortable in the end now gross from deep into Welbeck who is happy to drop into midfield to collect and Ciso running in beyond Kilman and Ciso looking to scoop above Saar Wolves are all over the place. Credit to Brighton, who've been thrilling at the start of this second half, but Wolves haven't held themselves at all. Understandably, Gary O'Neill is preparing changes as Brighton win it back again and go again. Welbeck moving into space and Ciso a willing runner. Here is Enciso. Enciso across goal march again. 4 0. What is happening at Molyneux? Brighton tearing walls apart. Same combination, same result. Enciso to march. And Albion look home and dry with more than half an hour to play. What a team they are. Welbeck waited for the right pass and Enciso simply looked up and provided another inch perfect cross for March in the middle. And he did the rest. Joyous to watch. Albion spoiling us once again with a thrilling attacking display and the 6-0 scoreline they managed against Wolves at the Amex back in April looks under threat here. Every time they go forward, a goal looks likely. 4-0 they lead. <laughs> 